Hello, my name is Jujun and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today we're doing the last of those three replays uh, for that very small, and unfortunately, uh, well, like I said, no one really entered that competition, but this is the third and final one, and a veteran to the channel, I guess, uh, Funrail. He is in his T-30 American Tank Destroyer with his 155mm gun, which is going to do some significant hurt. Now, even though you're going to see later on in the post-game stats, he tells this is a poor round. I would disagree. He... Well, I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, so, fun real, he's also joined by another veteran uh, of the channel, uh, T-Flat. T-Flat and fun real play together a lot, and they're very good in platoons, as you're going to see. Even though they're not together at the moment, Conway, T-Flat, sorry, T-Flat in his Conway over there, uh, covering the sort of mid area of Swamp, and Funreal here in the T-30 moving towards the, I guess it's a castle, monastery sort of building. And you can see the T-30 is not slow, but it isn't a fast vehicle either. It's basically a T-34 uh, premium heavy tank with a 155mm gun. I believe the hull armor is the exact same, and the turret armor is, and I think the turret turns a little bit slower, maybe a little bit faster by the looks of it actually. Yeah, a little bit faster than that of the T-34 down at T-8. Now, before I started playing World of Tanks, a lot of players will tell you that, uh, older players than me even, will tell you that this vehicle was tier 10. And it was the uh, tier 10. Was it the tier 10 heavy tank and then it was changed to a tier 9 tank destroyer? Or was it tier 9 heavy tank and changed to a tier 9 tank destroyer? Was the T-34? Hmm. Confusing. It used to be a higher rank is all I'm going to get up. T-30. <laughs> he fires a shot right at his turret front. Funreal, however, fires down into the hull armor, and that is a very, very nasty wound on that guy's hit points. Long reload, though, and he pulls forward and punches another one in his side, setting him on fire and taking him down in two shots. 1,650 damage done already. Takes a hit in the hull armor, as you can see. Hull armor, like the T-34, is only around 100 millimeters thick, even if it is angled back at him uh, with a slope. It's not thick enough in order to do any, uh, to do that much uh, blocking of damage. You can see he put a good shot there into the Skoda 250 just before he went stealthed, and 791 damage. He's got a lovely amount of high rolls at the moment. This gun has average damage of 750 with 276 penetration, which is the same note as that of the 120mm. 128mm cannons that you see on Fafn Trogaf Panzer IV and the Jagdtiger, as well as the soon to be replaced Waffle E100. So he just, well, the Tiger one's gonna sit there, he puts another meaty shot into that tier 7 German heavy tank. Although. Slightly lower roll this time. Borsig, very low roll, unfortunately. Um, he could have fired a HE round, but obviously he had preloaded an arm piercing round. If he fired a HE round, he may have done over 900 on damage. I don't know what the average damage is on the high explosive. Yeah, it is 950 with 90 penetration. He fires just a second after the death of that Borsig. That's the first shot that's gone wrong this game, which is. Nothing to be worried about at all. MX-30 looks like a stock MX-30. Considers fighting the Challenger, which t Flat puts a shot into, as you saw. Switches back to the MX-30 with a gun which is not the most accurate, I don't believe, but that was a very long distance shot. I'm not sure what kind of range that was. I didn't see the numbers exactly, but it was quite far. Almost reloaded. I think the reload's around 14 odd seconds, 15 seconds. It's 
comparable to that of the BL-10 with slightly worse penetration. Additionally, you're on quite a mobile chassis compared to that of the um, 704, Object 704, and the ISU-152. The other tier 9 tank destroyer for the Americans is, of course, the T-95, which has the same gun, uh, but it has much more armor and a very, very slow top speed. Four enemies remain. Panzer 58 Mutz over there. SU-152 spotted. Can we get a shot on him? Aiming in, quite a long aim time. No problem, however, goes straight through the lower plate for 731 lovely damaging points. All the hit points has been taken. 5,600 damage done in this tier 9 game. This is what this gun can do if you let it fire at a few shots. You're going to go over 1,000, 2,000 damage very easily. And I've not played this vehicle yet, but I'm on the T28 prototype still. I uh, haven't really been grinding it that much, but looking forward to playing the T30 compared to the Time uh, T95. I don't think I really want to play the T95 that much because it is so cripplingly slow. Slower than a mouse, slower than I think everything, really. Um, I think it's 18 kilometers an hour top speed, and I think a Type 4 Heavy, which is a T9 Japanese heavy tank, goes at 20 kilometers an hour, which is only too faster, and I think it's getting a buff, so it's 25 kilometers an hour. 825 on the move, no problem. <laughs> it's uh, not his lucky day, and I don't think he really expected for real to appear there. But it's just the M41 Walker Bulldog now, he's moving quite quickly, he's behind cover, he's looking for the artillery. Artillery is taking damage, can the artillery defend himself? The answer to that is... Nope, no he can't. So the M41 manages to pick up a second kill for his game here. From Wales looking for the shot. And he aims and it's a lovely ending shot for the game. Four kills for Funrail in his T30. Almost 6,000 damage done. And that credits him 1,250 gold like Spencer before him as well as Serbian Knight. Let's just take a look at his post-game stats. So here we go with Funrail's post-game stats in that T30 game. It was a very quick round as you probably are quite aware. First class, arsonist, fighter, fire for effect, 47,000 credits, 2,154 experience, high caliber, and tanker sniper. On a standard account, very nice experience indeed. You would have seen, well, he would have gained 71,000 credits and 3,232 experience on a premium account. Top on the team on damage and base experience, you can see, um, well, almost 6,000 damage, closest followed by the T54E1 with 2,531. With T-flat, we should mention, also gained 1,200 damage. Enemy team, 2,700 damage here for the artillery. The artillery players, ah well, he came top on the damage, never mind, that's what happens. 11 shots fired, 10 hits, 10 penetrations, just one miss on the Borsig, who died slightly before he could reload and fire. Good accuracy and good, very nice damage indeed. Two and a half thousand damage was done from more than 300 meters away, which is, you know, interesting considering this gun is not exactly very accurate. I, I think it's like 038, 039. It's not a hugely inaccurate gun, but it certainly isn't like a German E50M. He took three hits, two of those penetrated in the hole, and one ricocheted off his turret doing only 400 damage. Nine enemy vehicles damaged, four destroyed, and some spotting damage. Breakdown of credits, 18,000 spent on ammunition, 4,700 on repairs, totaling 24,000 in profits. He gained 2,100 experience because of personal reserve bonus, and the game was only seven minutes long. So if I'm real, thank you for sending in that replay. Always a pleasure watching those and I'll be sending you your gold very shortly. I just wanted to mention, sorry that I haven't been uploading videos, I've just been finishing my essays and exams and such, so hopefully we'll be able to get 
a bit more videos out soon. Um, so if you are thinking, is he, is he alive? Then yes, I am alive. Uh, I've just been busy. Then all that needs to be said is thank you very much for watching. And as always, I've been Geogen, and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.